In today's video, we're going to walk you through the latest feature updates, starting with the highly requested bulk image import. Simply select Insert Image from the toolbar at the top, choose the images you want to bring in, and confirm your selection. They'll be automatically distributed across the canvas. To make things super easy, it also works with copy-paste shortcuts. Just copy the images and paste them onto the canvas using Control or Command plus V. With the editor, you can now adjust elements right after using the lasso tool. Just select the lasso tool from the top toolbar, pick the elements you want, and then resize or rotate them right away. No extra clicks needed. The editor now also supports embedding YouTube videos with a specific timestamp. Just open the video you want to embed, find the exact moment, and click the Share button under the video. Make sure the Start at Time is checked, then copy the link. Back in the editor, either paste the link directly with Control or Command plus V, or select Web Embed from the top toolbar and paste the link there. The video will now play from that exact timestamp. Using object locking on a regular basis, we made unlocking even easier. Just select any object or a group of them. Right click and choose lock. After clicking on that locked object again, you'll see the unlock button appear at the top left of the selection border, making it super fast and easy to unlock it. As for Excalid Draw Plus, we focused on improving the current member management. We updated the interface of the Team Members section and added the ability to sort members by role or last activity, making it easier for workspace admins to check how active their members are. And if needed, they can also change someone's role or remove members completely. Workspace admins can now invite new members via email in bulk. Just click the Invite User button and start typing the email addresses. And what's more, you can even copy-paste an email list from an external source, like a table, to make it even faster. After sending the invitation, you can still change the set role type or delete the invitation entirely if needed. In a previous updates video, we told you about the option to export your workspace, either the whole thing or just your private collection. Now we've leveled it up and added the ability to view the workspace export history, so admins can keep track of which admin exported what and when. You can now also easily duplicate a scene or move it to a different collection. Just click the three dots at each scene preview Select Move, and choose the desired collection. And if you want to duplicate the scene instead, click the three dots again. But this time, choose the Duplicate Action and select the collection where it should be created. The duplicated scene will open for you automatically. Need to start a shared presentation from a specific slide? We've got you covered. First, Locate the scene with your presentation and decide which slide you'd like to start from. Then click the Share button and go to Share Presentation. After enabling presentation sharing, scroll down to Starting Slide and select the one you had in mind. Once you're done, just copy the URL and send it to whoever you need. The presentation will automatically open at the slide you selected. And that's it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.